Uh, well, obviously the play I didn't, haven't got to see it, so I can't, you know, the breaking ball obviously in dirt and keeping that in front, uh, getting to that ball, and then JP kind of just laying on the plate. <clears throat> it was a crazy play. And then, like you said, we were looking for that California double-double, and we got that home pole thing right there, so uh, at one time. Still in a situation like that, how JP's thoughts about him scoring there, it's momentum's totally on your side for something good to happen. Well, at that point in the game, honestly, <laughs> I know it felt really good, but you don't feel like you got any momentum either way because you're pretty much out of bullets, you're out of players, you're just kind of like in a situation where you're <coughs> pretty much in a game that you don't want to be in. You know, you want to get out of that game and get you a W. But um, obviously, the, the two plays there at the end, there's a lot, so many things happened. Guys threw the ball so well today, uh, got out of some jams. Um, you know, we just couldn't, we couldn't get a, obviously put anything on the board. But. Last night, you guys got three hits. It being aggressive early in the count today, same thing. Is that the key to his success for him to be aggressive early in the count? I think the key to success is to get good pitches and use the whole field for him more than anything else. I think early on we've seen him swinging early in the count and rolling balls over. So, I mean, you can swing at the first pitch all you want if you keep rolling it over. Uh, I don't think that's the key. I think the key is get a good pitch, use the whole field for him. And uh, he's got a great eye, and he just needs to use it to get him a good pitch to hit. Why was Yasmani in that game to begin with? I mean, the game starts dragging a little bit. Do you have in mind a point where you want to take AJ out? or Just that? pinch hit, just the situation trying to win a game. Well, obviously, just starting, you know, with Brett, obviously really good. Um, getting us there, PD and Yimmy and, and Lib, you know, getting us to the end of the game. Those guys doing the job for us. Uh, you know, then Juan gives us a big inning after three innings last night. He gives us an inning. Um, Paco, you know, inning plus, with, you know, hooked up with Sergio there. Just a number of every, pretty much everybody we used um, did the job for us. Um, Obviously, we ask a lot today, and uh, but obviously a good feeling when you walk out of this game. You feel a lot differently right now when you get a win. Um, you lose this game; it's tough because you know you've used a lot of bullets, and you know you're going to be in a rough spot tomorrow. Uh, so, but when you get the win, you you take it now, and uh, and go from there. Is Hatcher available? We were trying to stay away from Hatch today if we absolutely, you know, unless we absolutely had to. We would have used him, but we were trying to stay away from him. Coming up to the second time you rebate and just call upon the buzzer in a situation like that. Was that strong? Was that was the right call on that? Yeah. I mean, I, we got we to gotta try to move that runner right there, put ourselves in the right position, get a guy on third base, gives us a chance to win. Uh, you know, it's different at bats for. For Yasmani, you know, they probably end up walking Yasmani right there. Uh, but it's a different at bat for Scott when you got to hit a sack fly as opposed to have to get a hit. So it, it changes the whole mentality. Uh, but, you know, we had other chances to score runs. We didn't get hits. Um, you know, Juan has is, is traditionally been a pretty good bunter. To me, he's been a guy pretty fundamentally sound. He just didn't get it down today. And uh, I wouldn't hesitate to do it again with him. He can, he can do the job. Thought of going after Santos. I mean, um, Owings with Santos in the tenth there. Yeah, I didn't really want that. Um, you know, it was two ways to go. You can try to go get Owings, who's, you know, to me is the guy that, that's hitting the righties a lot better than the lefties. Um, you know, and so, and I want to, you know, basically to force them to use some of their pieces. The matchup's pretty much the same if you want to numerically. Uh, what I'm going to get with Paco and what I'm going to get with. Uh, with Sergio and and uh, and Owings there, so you know the matchups the same. Makes them use some pieces. We get to the point where we're you know kind of get back to everybody's kind of out of players. Is it to the point now where you feel like you have a pretty good idea of where each of your relievers are best suited to match up against the other team? Not always. Um, I think what happens is certain teams you use more of your right-handers. Other teams you use more of your left-handers. Colorado has a lot more left-handed hitters. You're, you have spots to use your lefties. San Francisco has more spots for lefties. Uh, San Diego does not have hardly any spots for lefties. So then you end up in that series. You use a lot of right-handed pitching. 
the series, a lot of right-handed pitching. They don't have a lot of spots for the lefty. Uh, so each one kind of changes. Do you think you're going to have to make a roster move tomorrow? Um, we're going to, we'll talk before we take off today. John, to what point did Juan Nicasio tell you you could go today after throwing three? No, before the game, he told us he was good. But I did not like the way he was kind of stretching and moving. And, uh, you know, the guys will take the ball for you. But once he, once the way he was moving, it was just like I, I can't let him go back out.